Hi, I'm Rob Jessen with the City of Virginia Beach GIS Coordinator, and welcome to the Region 3 Flood Zone Information Portal. And when you first come up on the portal, it gives you a brief description as well as a disclaimer of what the services are. I'm going to go ahead and hit I agree. And our most popular search is the search by address. So I'm going to go down here to the address pane, type in a address that I want to find, and hit locate. It'll give me a confidence level, say what the address is, uh, 3211 Lynn Haven Drive, Virginia Beach, Virginia, and how confident the search is for this. And this was geolocated from address points, so the confidence on that is very high. You can use the zoom to uh, to get closer, or you can use the mouse and the roller bar to get even closer. And once you get to the right zoom level, the remote mode, report mode will turn on. And this is just a way to interrogate each individual building footprint. So I'm going to hit OK on that. And then uh, as you hover over a building footprint, a tooltip will display. And this tooltip gives you information about what percent of that building is within a flood zone. So in this case, this building is 100% within a AE flood zone. It also gives me the preliminary base flood elevation for the whole flood zone. So this is a seven foot level AE flood zone. And if you want to hover over other features and put them into the investigator, you can just hover over them. It gives you the percent of it being in or out of a flood zone. So in this case, this preliminary flood zone is 25% within uh, the AE. You can see how it just kind of uh, goes right around this. But 75% of this building is X, which is outside of a flood zone. And if I click on this building, it will give me the before and after report. And basically what it's saying is that the effective date of 4-5-2009, when these were first adopted, and give me a comparison of what FEMA is proposing as the new flood zones. And this was generated in May 17, uh, 2013. So currently these new flood zones, the preliminary flood zones, are still being under review. FEMA is going through a process of reviewing each and every one of these. And once they finish that process, then the information will be sent back out to the citizens. But this will give you the first look at what your potential base flood elevation is and what your proposed uh, uh, flood zone would be. So, and again, it shows you the, um, the firm panel number, which is important because that's what you need to do to contact your, your insurance provider for, with that information uh, as well as your address.